Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and recently in a stream I played this awesome level by Pele, which tells you what character you're playing as. The title is called I Know Who You Play As. Let's check out the level as all four characters, see if it's right every time, and then explain to you what I believe is going on here. So we are Blue Toad for this first one. So let's go through the level as Blue Toad and see if the level can tell us who we're playing as. We're gonna go ahead and turn off comments because that picture is kind of scary. All right, here we go. Into the pipe. And we are greeted with some doors. We have to go in this first door. And once we do, we get a fire flower. We throw a fireball. It ignites a bob bomb. It activates the P switch. It's the only one that we can hit. So we have to go through the P switch door. Once the P switch runs out, the level should tell us who we are playing as. And we get do 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 a toad. The level is correct. We are playing as a toad. Uh, we will try Mario next. But so far, the level seems to know that we're playing as a toad. It's correct. Good, 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 good. We got a star. Finish the level. Easy peasy. Blue toad sneezy. So now we're gonna go back through the level as Mario. See if it's right. And then we will try Luigi, and then we'll try Toadette. Let's do it again. All right, so this time we have Mario into the yellow pipe. Once again, we have to go through this first door. We get a fire flower. We throw the fireball. It gives us a key. It's the only bob bomb we can hit, so we have to go through the locked door. Once we go through the locked door, we get Mario. Yes, we're playing as Mario. All right, so two for two. The level seems to know who we're playing as. Let's switch to Luigi and start over. Now, some of you in the comments are probably already saying, I know exactly what's going on. Um, I figured it out as well, but I still thought this was a really cool mechanic. And it could lead to levels where, depending on who people play as, uh, you could change up the level. That's pretty neat. It's a neat feature. Definitely really, really cool. Let me know if maybe you guys want to see a tutorial on how to do this. I can make a quick tutorial. Could be a lot of fun. As you can see here, we can only go through this door as Luigi. And we are Luigi. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we have one left, which is Toadette. And this here will probably give away, if you haven't figured out what's going on yet, what the trick is here. So we're playing as Toadette. Remember, as we played as Toad earlier and said we were playing as a Toad. Um, with Toadette. There's only a limited number of doors we can go through here. So you throw the fireballs through. Once again, we're going to activate the P-switch. Boom. Oh, we didn't activate it. Yeah, we did. Okay, we activated it. <laughs> go back, Toadette. We're screwing everything up. Alright. So we just got to go into the P-switch door. Nice and easy. And eventually it runs out. Just like it did with Toad. And we get a Toad again. So we don't get Toadette. Uh, so if you still haven't figured out what's going on here, I will break it down for you real quick. And once again, if you want to see a tutorial on how you could do this, so you could set up a level that the outcome is based upon which character you're playing as, I could definitely do that. But real quickly, we'll start over and I'll just explain to you what I believe is going on here. And that is all the small characters are about the same height. When we go through this first door, we get a fire flower. And that's where this all comes in. Each character is slightly taller. The toads are a little shorter. Luigi's a little taller than Mario. Depending on how tall you are, the fireball will throw differently since you're throwing it from a different height. It ignites a different bomb. In Mario's case, we get the key, which puts us to the key door. The key door is always gonna say we're playing as Mario. Obviously, it's not gonna change the room up. So that is how it's done, but if you want to know how to set it up, if you want me to break it down for you in a tutorial, once again, let me know. Alright guys, I hope you really enjoyed this. I thought it was a really cool level and a really neat trick you can do in Super Mario Maker 2. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest videos from BTG. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you around.